Long, long ago, around 450 years ago, Japan was in a period of civil war. Powerful samurai warlords from all over the country fought day and night to create a unified Japan. The city of Nagoya is located in Aichi Prefecture in central Japan. The largest city in the Chubu area with a population of more than two million. This is Nagoya Castle, standing in the center of the city. Next is the vibrant downtown area. Nagoya is a modern and fascinating city that combines a long history and samurai culture. Back to the Sengoku, or Civil War period, when three great samurai heroes with roots in this area led Japan's unification. Oda Nobunaga, initiator of the Sengoku period. Toyotomi Hideyoshi rose from a simple farmer to reign the nation. Tokugawa Ieyasu, who led Japan from the age of civil wars to peacetime. Aside from these three legendary samurai warlords, many other lords were active in Nagoya. Nagoya was truly a historical stage during the Sengoku period. Here, they show their expertise with the Sengoku Warlord performance. The Nagoya Samurai Greeters appear in many events to promote the fascinating samurai city, Nagoya. They're gaining popularity throughout Japan and can be found tour guiding at Nagoya Castle. Nagoya is ideal for historical sightseeing and the places connected to the Sengoku warlords. Let's visit those sites with the Sengoku samurai heroes. Now, it's time to begin the sightseeing tour of samurai hero city Nagoya. Ha! About 400 years ago, the first shogun, Tokugawa Ieyasu, established the Edo government, or Edo Bakufu, in Tokyo, then known as Edo. His actions symbolized the end of Sengoku period confusion and the initiation of a unified Japan. A peaceful period continued for around 250 years after this. This is the Nagoya Castle that I ordered to be built. The main castle tower was rebuilt about 50 years ago, but the original stone walls remain today. The stone used to construct these magnificent sturdy walls were collected mainly from Aichi and also brought from Kansai and Kyushu. The newly constructed castle, as ordered by Tokugawa Ieyasu, contributed to the prosperity of Nagoya. Here is the Tokugawa Art Museum. My descendants built this splendid building. This museum inherited a collection of objects from the Tokugawa family, including the illustrated Tale of Genji Masterpiece, a national treasure representing Japanese samurai culture. Tokugawa-en is a Japanese garden neighboring the Tokugawa Art Museum. Recreated on the site of the Owari Tokugawa family holiday home, this majestic daimyo-style garden of the Edo period is characterized by landforms, a stream and ocean, 
that condensed the landscape of Japanese nature. Furthermore, I had the Tokaido Road that connected Edo and Kyo, or modern day Tokyo and Kyoto repaired. Arimatsu is a town where old style architecture and streets from the Edo period can still be seen. Also one of the most prosperous towns on the Tokai Road. The traditional tie-dyeing industry, or Arimatsu Narumi Shibori, continues today. These are beautifully tie-dyed fabric products used in kimono. When Nagoya Castle was completed, this tie-dyeing technique is said to have been introduced from Kagoshima in Kyushu. And this is the Oskanen Temple. Tokugawa Ieyasu moved this Buddhist temple to its present site. This is the enormous Osu shopping arcade full of electronic stores, clothing stores, restaurants, and much more. Miso katsu, fried pork cutlet with rich miso sauce made from soybean paste. Mm. Hitsumabushi, tebasaki, miso nikomi udon, and many more unique, satisfying dishes. One of the famous dishes is the small-sized Tenmusu rice ball, containing shrimp tempura. You must visit this temple with roots of Oda Nobunaga in Osu. The warlord Oda Nobunaga was raised here in Nagoya. He was a powerful warlord who assisted in the unification of Japan during the Sengoku period. It's said that an insolent young Nobunaga threw something at his father's memorial tablet when his funeral was held here. Atsuta Jingu is situated amongst an extensive forest. One of the greatest worship centers in Japan, this shrine was founded around 1900 years ago and welcomes 6.5 million worshipers annually. In the Sengoku period, Atsuta Jingu was well known as the shrine that Oda Nobunaga prayed for victory, availing him to win many successive battles. Here is the gateway to Samurai City, the Nagoya Station area. <laughs> Toyotomi Hideyoshi rose from a simple farmer to rule the nation, and Kato Kiyo Masa who became famous as an expert spearman. Both of them were born in Nakamura. Now it's a thriving business district, also popular for shopping and dining. How about some modern samurai cuisine at Saru Cafe? The famous Arako Kanon Temple is situated in the Arako area of Nakagawa Ward. Toyotomi Hideyoshi's sworn friend, Maida Toshiie, and his nephew, Maida Keiji, were born and raised in this town. A large number of well-known samurai warlords were born and raised here in Nagoya. Nagoya is the base where many powerful samurai warlords initiated the Sengoku period. 
and fought to create a unified Japan. Nagoya is a modern and fascinating tourist-oriented city that combines a long history with samurai culture. We're a city with numerous appealing sightseeing spots. Nagoya, please come back.